It's Mary with Studio 2.8 TV. In this video, I'm going to go over the reflectors that I use outdoors. This video will be in two parts. This is the first one. The second one, we will actually be going outdoors and photographing a model using the various reflectors. So the very first one that um, I'm going to talk about is just a piece of white foam core. So this obviously is very inexpensive. It's very sturdy, however. Um, you do have to be careful on windy days because this could be like a sail and take you off in the wind. But in a pinch, this works really well. Um, second of all, I do have another type of um, white reflector that I use. This is foam core insulation. I purchased this at Lowe's. This has a white side and this has a silver side. So this um, obviously is, again, very inexpensive. I bought a large piece several years ago. It was only $11, and I think they cut it up for me into about eight pieces, and I'm still working on those eight pieces. Now, if you take this out on a windy day, however, it's going to be gone, so just to let you know. But this actually works really, really well, and uh, as long as you don't have a windy day, you should be in good shape using the foam core insulation. Next, I'd like to show you a reflector that has been uh, manufactured for the photography industry. There's many of these out in the market today. And this is just a large white reflector. So this is made really well. You won't have to worry about this getting destroyed. However, again, on a windy day, you know, it might kind of take you off in the wind or whatever, like the flying nun. But one of the best things about uh, the reflector like this is that it's very compact and you can just rope, fold it back up and put it in its case, whereas the other ones you're not able to fold up. Now, this reflector right here, uh, the reflectors that I've showed you so far are great when you have an assistant. When you don't have an assistant, you may need to consider having a reflector on a light stand. So that's what this is. This is a very tall reflector so that you can reflect light full length on the subject. I have one side that is gold and the other side that is silver. What the gold does is that it actually gives more of a warming effect on the subject, whereas the silver will give you more specular highlights. So I think that with all reflectors, though, because they are kind of lightweight, you have to be really careful on a windy day. I certainly wouldn't want to have this um, unattended on a windy day because I'm afraid it would blow off. Now, lastly, I do want to show you a really neat reflector. Um, a, actually, it's a modification to the reflector that I just showed you. And this was an idea that I got from Sue Bryce. She is an amazing photographer. She's based out of Australia. And she does all natural light photography inside her studio. And a lot of times with reflectors, you have to get really, really, really close to your subject. And if you do that, the reflector might show. So what she taught was to cut a hole inside the reflector and just stick your lens outside the reflector and you can get really, really, really close. So we're going to go outside next. I have a beautiful model waiting for us at the Duluth Town Green. And we're going to try out uh, most of these reflectors. I don't think we'll bring this one, though, because it's not so compact. So we'll see you back in just a few minutes. Thank you. 